All right, hey Leo. So I'm doing a a, a read, old versus new. So you're gonna basically you're here because you have somebody um, that you've already dealt with um, in the past or inner energy, and then you got somebody new that is coming through. Um, they could be here. They might not be here yet. So you're going to know who each person is based off their energy. And you could be just dealing with one person for now. And as long as you resonate with the energies that come through, you guys will have another person showing up. Okay. So um, with that being said, I'm going to pull your energy first just to get who I'm talking to. And if that doesn't resonate, check those other placements, you guys. All right. So again, this just could simply be a confirmation read. So let's see who we are talking to. The five of cups, you got the five of cups, the nine of cups and the queen of wands in your energy. So it could just be that you have a lot of eyes on you. You could feel like you're the center of attention um, just for the moment. Um, it could be that you're just embodying confidence and stability. All right. I do feel like with the five of cups, maybe you have somebody in your energy um, from the past that you have dealt with. Um, and it, with that card coming through in reverse, it could be that it's almost like as soon as you're getting over this person, they pop back through as somebody new pops into your life. All right. But with the nine of cups coming through, um, this is all positive energy right here. Um, it could be that, you know, you have somebody new showing up and then as soon as a new person shows up, boom, somebody, this person right here that hurt you from the past kind of comes back in and you're just feeling like, yeah, um, you know, <laughs> look at me, you know, eat your heart out. I kind of feel like that's the energy that you're dealing with. Um, and you could, you know, it's, I feel like right now, um, the queen of wands is somebody who is, who, ha who can be very serious. Um, but I almost feel like your energy is coming through as playful. Like you're just kind of embodying confidence, um, taking charge of independence, um, you know, maybe going out a lot more, putting yourself out there um, and just kind of, you know, um, really kind of reveling in who you are. All right. So you're, it's almost like um, a shift has happened. So you were sad, you were upset about somebody from the past that potentially hurt you. Um, and it's like, as soon as, as soon as you clear that energy, somebody new shows up and it's almost like this person potentially could have came back around all right so i'm going to start with person number one we'll see who that is and if you don't know this energy or resonate with it you might want to jump to person number two all right <clears throat> so let's see all right so person number one coming through with the queen of pentacles this is somebody who is very nurturing very practical um very much independent this is somebody who uh, potentially could have kids they're 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 able to work they're able to balance the home aspect with kids um you know their home life um this is somebody who is very very balanced all right uh root routine is coming into my mind and with that queen of pentacles that's capricorn and sagittarius um we have the eight of pentacles showing up here as taurus energy sorry virgo and Virgo with the hermit. So this person right here could be somebody that you work with or somebody that you work around because we have the pentacles aspects coming through here. Um, if you don't work with this person, they could just be very, very uh, materialistic. All right. Very, very pulled back though. This person right here um, with the hermit energy coming through is somebody that is, is very, very quiet, reserved, introverted, very analytical, very thoughtful. Um, I almost feel like this person's energy comes through as more of a serious tone um, than anything comparable to your energy. I feel like they come through as very, very serious. Um, and money um, could be very important to this person, you know, especially if they're coming through as a single parent with, with kids. Uh, it could be that they focus more of their energy towards um, the house, the home, you know, the kids, the stability. All right. Somebody who takes uh, life pretty seriously when it comes to um, the... Uh, uh, the, what's important first and I, that's not the word I was looking for all right um, but it's it's you know and two if you don't work directly with this person keep in mind um, in the same vicinity work around one another um, you know or you guys pop into um, each other's place of business I just keep seeing the work aspect come through here and I also feel like this person could be very very quiet I'm kind of drawn in. All right. So if you don't know who this is, they could just be very, very shy. Um, but let's see how they feel about you. Let's see how they feel about Leo. All right. With justice card coming through. 
Um, that's more about karmic rewards and success. The moon card. So they're looking at you as a mystery. All right. Somebody who's been through a lot. You could have um, opened up to this person and told them about, you know, your own past. Uh, just kind of having like a quiet conversation with this person. So this could have been if you were going through a rough time, potentially you could have used this person as a shoulder to lean on and not be aware that they have stronger feelings coming through here than what you had um, ex expected. Okay. Um, because the way that they see you is they they do see you as mysterious that's what i'm feeling with the moon card it could be too they're questioning your your feelings and your motivations towards them um but justice in the ten of wands says that this, this person looks at you as somebody who's been through a lot that you deserve the best you deserve good things all right so that's just how they that's how they see you let's see what their intentions are towards you their intentions the page of wands um depicts uh right here it's that's all about removing the self-limiting beliefs. So if you've been, if you've been dealing with a hard time, if you've been dealing with a past and you've opened up to this person right here, they see you as somebody, I'm not going to say troubled, but that you have been through a lot in this person's eyes. And I feel like this person wants to be there to kind of help um, remove the limiting beliefs, you know? Um, and if you're stepping into this power of the queen of wands energy, it could be that this person's kind of helped get you there in some way, shape or form by giving you advice or just a positive flow of energy. I feel with the two of swords coming through, it could be that this person don't really know where they stand with you at this point in time and I feel like this person potentially doesn't feel quite comfortable opening up to you because they don't know where they stand all right um, but coming through with the eight of swords um, their intentions I almost feel like there's a lot of confusion that's going on here it could be too that this person feels that uh, because they've opened up to you or that you, they've allowed you to open up to them. Um, I just, I'm almost feeling like this person is confused at this point, but their intentions are not bad. They're just confused about where they stand and sit with you. So let's see what the potential outcome is with person number one, the potential outcome. I need to move my cards. All right. So potential outcome with person number one, um, we got... So the Queen of Swords coming through, um, this right here, the fact that she shows up in reverse just tells me that there's some more discussion that needs to happen. Um, if you guys aren't clearly communicating feelings towards one another, I do feel like um, it has the potential to go south. And that's why the Tower card is showing up. Um, it could be too that there's a lot of intimacy going on between you. So intimacy as far as opening up, telling, um, sharing, you know, with one another uh, feelings and deeper emotions. Um, and it could be that you guys actually grow a little intimate and maybe Leo, I just want to say with this person, you might not recognize that their feelings go pretty deep. All right. And for a potential outcome, if there is um, no boundaries or no clarity, um, I do feel the potential tower card is here, but you guys also have the sun coming through. And that tells me that, um, should there be a tower moment because of feelings not being discussed and boundaries, um, you know, you might go through a tower moment first, but then it's like the, the sun card comes through I do feel is rekindling either the uh, emotional aspect the romantic aspect that has that potential or it could just be that you guys uh, reconvene the the friendship aspect okay so that's person number one I'm gonna clear this and we're going to pull person number two person number two All right, so person number two, their energy. What do we have here? All right, so person number two, we have the seven of wands coming through. This right here is um, going to be Leo. No, yeah, Leo energy. We have Gemini energy with the nine of swords. So I definitely feel like this is the one that you've already dealt with. Um, with the full card, coming through in reverse this could be something that you thought was going to go somewhere maybe you guys were connecting you guys could have been connecting in such a way that maybe there was um, hope on your end that this was going to move forward and it didn't go through so you guys never you know reached the commitment um phase with the seven of wands coming through 
I feel like this person, um, they could be kind of selfish. They could be kind of self-indulged, uh, you know, um, a little bit too much into self. But this is also telling me that they have not stopped thinking about you since you guys have disconnected. With the Nine of Swords coming through, it's stress, worry, anxiety, depression, thinking about the past, holding on to the past. The shoulda, coulda, woulda is coming through. And the full card, I just feel like their energy is coming through as hopeful for a new beginning. But feeling like a fool because of what they've let go of. All right? Potentially. So let's see, um, yeah, how they feel about you. I'm going to put, I'm going to leave those there. I feel like they were meant to come out. All right. So how they feel about you, definitely not sharing their feelings and emotions with the moon card. So this is somebody, um, that hasn't, uh, came completely clean about how they feel or about what they're going through since you guys have disconnected with the knight of pentacles it's like hey can i redo this can we have a redo can we have a restart i'm sorry for taking it so slow i feel like this person could have dragged out something with you um your expectations could have been a little bit higher um, where is this going? What are we doing here? And this person could have been dragging their feet, potentially even stringing you along. All right. But this person coming through here is somebody that you've dealt with for quite a while. And then death card coming through. I feel like that's putting the kibosh on it. All right. Um, so uh, as far as their feelings towards you, um, this is the ending. Um, how do they feel about you? Upset that, that this is sadness. This, their emotions are just kind of coming through full throttle um, right out the top of their head and through their eyes. They're really upset. So let's see what their intentions are. And even if this person hasn't came back, they will be coming back. All right. Look at that. To be direct, to be honest, to, to come through, come clean about what they wanted. Um, this is right here. Apologies for kind of treating you like an option, treating you like um, you you maybe didn't sit the, in the first row in this person's life. OK, um, with the hanging man, look at that. It's clearing the energy of what you guys had shared in the past. Um, I'm sorry for giving you an illusion. Um, you know, I'm sorry for not being clear. I'm sorry for my uncertainty in the past. I do feel like their intentions are to come clean right here. You know, um, I, I just feel like this person could have treated you like an option and uh, that that didn't fly with you and maybe it didn't make you feel so good but now this person kind of sees you glow it's like you you you're glowing up and you're there you're being a magnet to this person so let's see what the uh, potential outcome is for this connection the potential outcome what is the outcome for person number two and leo what have we got we have the Empress card coming through. That is new beginnings. Um, it's it's new beginnings, and I feel like the beginnings coming through are positive. So I'm going to say this. Somebody definitely got their karmic uh, justice by maybe um, dilly-dallying with your feelings and emotions, all right? If you choose this one that I do feel is the past person, you guys do have a potential to move forward and it be a success. Um, but really, you know, um, here, I just feel like it's clearing the energy of the past. Um, but I do feel like where this person maybe left you clouded, um, maybe even confused they're coming through to clear that energy up and the potential here is going to be um it will be positive it will be amazing moving forward all right um this right here is basically coming back through as a, a, a person that you the disconnection needed to happen in order to help this person grow and that's how i kind of see this one so leo i'm going to leave it there you guys take care